this drug ring. The suspects are all from out of state, and they're coming to Missouri because it's the only place in the nation that doesn't have a prescription medication registry. That means there's no way of tracking where the medication goes. Today, ABC 17's Taylor Petrus was in Moberly, where several Kentucky residents were recently caught in a pill bust. And Taylor, you found out they actually went to Florida in order to get these prescriptions filled. Yes, and they came to a local pharmacy here in Moberly to get those prescriptions filled. Court documents say the suspects knew it would be easier to get the drugs here in Missouri because the state does not have a prescription drug monitoring program. That's a cause of concern for pharmacists across the state. I have to be able to sleep at night and know whatever I'm dispensing is not going to harm anybody. And if I think that it could be used for, you know, misuse or being sold. Erica Hopkins, a pharmacist at DNH Pharmacy in Columbia, says she sees a lot of people from nearby states come to Missouri trying to get drugs. She says she knows when to suspect misuse. It's one thing if you live in a surrounding town, but maybe go to see a doctor, you know, a specialist or something. But if they're coming from hours and hours away, then from a doctor that's even further away, it's just that sends up red flags. And it's usually for pain meds of some sort, some controlled, and they want to pay cash. Court documents say five people from Kentucky came to this Moberly Pharmacy last month with scripts for painkillers that were written by a doctor in Florida. Employees called the Highway Patrol's Drug and Crime Control Division to report what they felt was suspicious. Troopers investigated and arrested Angela Turner, Bernice Coffey, Ginger Medley, Kenneth Browning, and Scotty Harris. They're all charged with fraudulently attempting to obtain a controlled substance. It's pretty much now the pharmacists are the ones policing it. I mean, it's up to us to really pay attention and to figure out, you know, what's going on with our prescriptions. Those charged in this case will have preliminary and arraignment hearings coming up in the next several weeks. Reporting in Moberly, Taylor Petrus, ABC 17 News. The Highway Patrol was not available for comment on this investigation. Tonight.